He is a child killer, a murderer of 51 innocents, a white supremacist. For the Christchurch terrorist, a record sentence. You will now stand. On each of the 51 charges of murder, charges 1 to 51, you were sentenced to life imprisonment. I order that you serve the sentences without parole. On each of the 40 charges of attempted murder, charges 52 to 91, you were sentenced to concurrent terms of 12 years in prison. On the charge of committing a terrorist act, charge 92, you were sentenced to life imprisonment. For survivors, relief. That's our family! Yay! That's our family! This is the first time in New Zealand's history anyone has been given life without parole. It was a big relief for all of us, and uh, we all are happy. What he deserved, we got, and what we deserve, we got. Justice is done. As Imam says, no justice is enough for the, those one, you know, they lost their family member and loved one, but at least something is done that take the pain and take the, the load we had in our heart from us. Cold and calculating, in 2019, Brenton Tarrant slaughtered worshippers at two mosques in Christchurch. He executed a three-year-old, then reloaded. There was no mercy, no remorse. His sentence reflects that. He deliberately killed a three-year-old infant by shooting him in the head as he clung to the leg of his father. The terror you inflicted in the last few minutes of that small child's life is but one instance of the pitiless cruelty that you exhibited throughout. New Zealand grieved as one. The Prime Minister held the heartbroken in their darkest hour. Today, she welcomed the punishment of a mass murderer. This has been a crime in New Zealand that has never, the likes of which has never occurred before. And now we've seen a sentence the likes of which we've never seen before as well. Um, but yes, it gave me relief to know that that person will never see the light of day. Isolation in a maximum security prison awaits the terrorist. His cruelty and crimes have exposed the very worst of humanity. In the survivors, the very best. They now have legal justice. They may never find peace. Siobhan Robbins, Sky News.